Welcome to Jude Nam Music Training Session. In this video, I want to talk about basic music composition tips. A lot of people love music, but there are people who want actually to go a step further because they want to make music. Composition is an art just like every other part of, part of music music generally is an art and so composition is like someone who is a painter who wants to paint pictures you should know what and what to use like a combination of paints that can give you a particular color and so in composition a composer it's someone who sits down and creates. Most of the time, you create out of nothing. But for you to be able to create these things, you need to be equipped in various forms. And so, we want, I want to give you some of the tips, the little, little things that you need arm yourself with in this journey of composition. One, it is important to pay attention. Pay attention. When I say pay attention, I mean paying attention to every musical activity happening around you every musical activity around you. How much music do you know? How much music have you allowed to get into you? You listen to reggae, you listen to pop music, you listen to gospel, you listen to whatever genre of music. You do not choose what to listen to as a composer. You need to be versatile. You need to open up your mind, broaden your thinking about music so that you do not actually bottle yourself into one musical style. As a composer, your spirit should be free. Listen as often as possible and allow yourself, allow music to be part of you. There are people who you know sing a lot. Get close to them. There are people who play musical instruments a lot and you know them, they are friends. Get close to them. Find yourself always in areas where musical activities are going on. Even consciously and unconsciously, you begin to feel music in you. So that when it's time to bring out the music that is deep in you, you have content, you have things to help you, a kind of springboard where you, you use to help to bring out something new because music is all about creativity music it's about bringing something out of nothing so if you should create music in form of composition you should be able to know what you want to write about you should be able to have an idea of what has been done before by other people and then move ahead and create something new so Paying attention to the musical activities around you will help you to, 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 will help to equip you when it's time for you to write. The next composition tip is music theory. When, we, when you are asked to acquire knowledge of 
theory. No one is actually asking you to know everything about music. Theory is broad. Music theory is broad and it's very large. So we are talking about the fundamentals, the rudiments of music. It's important that you know what, it, what you are doing. The knowledge of music theory gives you an advantage. When you know what you are doing, you are more comfortable. You are more relaxed doing what you are doing. As a composer, you should be able to know what rhythm is. You should be able to know what time signature is, what key signature is. If you actually want to write in star, then you should be able to know what your clef, lines and spaces. These things are very important. So when you are, then these are just rudiments, they are fundamental, primary. And if you are writing for choir, for Christ's sake, you should be able to know the rules of harmony. It's only in theory of music that you can acquire some of these things. It's important to read, to have yourself exposed. Buy books. Get close to people who already have this knowledge and let them help you. It's important that you read and read and read on your own. Personally, I read so vast, I had, I had, I had acquired so much knowledge in music before going to the university to study music. Because I bought books like crazy man. I will buy music books like in my face as a boy. In my library I have and most of the books I have and I use today were the ones I bought as a young boy. Before going to university to study music, I had to read because I discovered that the secrets of knowledge are embedded in the books. So I advise you to open up Get that, the, the joy, have the feel and the urge to read about music. I, to go to the books and pick up the knowledge that has been hidden there. And you come out better and more confident. So it is important that you acquire this music knowledge. Knowledge of music instruments. Your ability to play an instrument or two is an advantage as a composer. Earlier I talked about getting into music and allowing music to get into you. This is one of them. As a guitarist, it's, you can hardly find someone who is playing guitar especially a, an acoustic guitar, and not singing. The beauty of play, playing the guitar, it's singing along. They are complementary. And so you can see that it's easier to push yourself into singing by playing an instrument. The instrument helps you to get, in, get the feel. In fact, there is a particular feel that, in, that actually engulfs you while playing an instrument that you cannot get just as a singer. So it is important for you to know that playing an instrument is an, is an added advantage. Play keyboard, play guitar, even a flute. Playing a flute has its own special feel. So it's important all that you think about it. Find a way of getting yourself into music more by picking an instrument and learning it. It will help you as a composer. It's an advantage as a composer. It is an advantage if you know how to play one instrument or two. Pick up a violin. Pick up a guitar. Flute. Keyboard. Any instrument. Even drum, it will help you to get deeper into music. It's like 
filling yourself with music. There is an interpretation which you can give to a music if you are actually playing and singing. So as a composer, you need to know how to combine sound, your singing and your playing. When you are playing a particular progression, in a particular progression, your music as a composer may find you unconsciously may find yourself aligning to that progression. It can help you to create tunes because as you create the tunes, you find your melody trying find on its own, being guided by the progression of the musical instrument you are playing. So it is an advantage if you sit down to write. If you are not as a composer and you are not playing, you could also write something beautiful. But personally, from my own experience, I have discovered that I started writing better. I started creating better melodies, more aligning melodies. There are melodies that actually don't align. You find themselves, they move from right to left, and then suddenly they go to center and they scatter again. But then, I discovered that my melodies are woven together as one. Because I have always my musical instrument to guide me. So it is an advantage as a composer to learn one or instrument. Your ability to play them will help you in your composition. Oral training. Oral training is the same thing as ear training. Now, why do we, why is it called ear training? Meanwhile, we are singing with our voices. It is because they are all interconnected. The ear, the voice, and the brain. Because the same signal themselves. As you are voicing, you are hearing. And what you have what you are saying actually has been triggered from your brain. Now, there are people who we know to be tone deaf. The reason why we call them tone deaf is because they find it find it difficult to even identify notes and staying within those notes. It's important as a composer to know that as, as a writer, you should be able to also know how to be able to produce what you are asking people to sing. Think unto yourself most of the time. It, we know that when we, what we hear when we talk to ourselves or when we sing, what we hear is, is not actually exactly how our voice, our voices sound. Because what I'm hearing now as I'm talking to you is simply an echo of my voice. So if you want to find out how your voice sounds while talking, use a tape recorder and record your voice and play back. So for this oral training, it's important that you sync into a tape or into a phone recorder and play back as often as possible. Keep doing it. You may discover that your voice does not sound the way you don't like the way your voice sounds. So what you do, you begin to practice and playing back and practice and playing back and making corrections, making adjustments until you begin to sound the way you, you like to sound. So oral training is a beautiful way of actually building up your musical uh, sensitivity 
and as a composer it is a tremendous instrument that helps you to concentrate on sound which you are putting on paper because composition actually is a concussion of sounds bringing sounds various sounds together you know and, and various pitches and the depth the height and the depth and bringing them together uh, to create a melody so if you cannot identify the depth of a sound or the height of a sound how would you be able to put them together for some other basis to do so so oral training is an important instrument in basic music composition